Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to create this plus and minus button. See there's a button. From plus it goes to minus. You see that animation, how it spins. The plus turns into a minus. And at the same time there's a div over here that expands and collapses. Expand, collapse. Let's see how we can do that. First let's head on over to CodePen. We'll create a new pen. So we'll create a button element. We'll call it circle. Inside the button element, we'll create another div called line wrapper because we need this to contain the two lines, the vertical line and the horizontal line. And now we'll create two lines. Let's come into our CSS and start styling it. So we'll say the height is 40 pixels with 40 pixels, border none, border radius, border radius is 50%, this should turn it to a circle, set an outline of none, set a background color to light coral, set a padding of 12 pixels and we'll set a box shadow and you should have a very slight box shadow. Now let's create the lines. Actually it'll be for both horizontal and vertical both horizontal and vertical lines will have a width of 100% we'll have a height of 2 pixels a background color of white pointer events will be none great so we set up both horizontal and vertical that's why you can see the lines are thick because one is on top of the other one right now but we need to customize this so let's take the vertical line and turn it around and rotate it so we'll say vertical, bottom, two pixels first. So we'll bring it down. We have to say position relative. There. And we say bottom, two pixels. And now we can rotate the line. Transform. And write today. Transform, rotate, we'll say 90 degrees. There, now you get the button. It's a plus. Now let's set a hover for the button. Dot circle hover. Should work. Great, now we have a box shadow. Let's center this. So we'll say circle. Now a button is usually an inline element, so we have to convert it to a block level element if we want to set it to the center by using margin. Because right now, if I say margin auto, nothing happens. That's because the display of button elements are inline. So we're gonna have to set that to block. 
So let's say display block. And now it should go to the center. When we click on it, we want it to turn to a minus and then we want to turn the minus back to a plus when we click on it again. First, what we're going to do is when we click on it, we want the vertical line to go back horizontal again. So we're going to say dot vertical dot open. And we're going to say transform rotate 180 degrees right now you see this nothing happens but if you see that we add a class called open you see it will disappear you see the vertical line disappears that's because the vertical line is now rotated back to the horizontal axis if I remove open you'll see it back up to vertical 90. So we're gonna have to add this class called open when every time we click a button. That's simple. You just come into JavaScript, document dot query selector. We'll call it circle. Circle, when, so we grab the circle element dot add event listener we'll add a click event listener and when we do that there'll be a function inside inside this function we'll grab the vertical document dot query selector dot vertical dot class list not add but toggle toggle we're gonna toggle the class open this means that every time we click on the button we're gonna add the class called open to the vertical element so and when that happens you'll see that the line that that vertical will be rotated to 180 degrees so it'll look like it's turning into a minus sign let's see how that works oh I must have made some mistake here ah this doesn't have a comma okay now you see it rotates but it's happening so fast that that you can't see it so we're gonna have to add a transition Let's set a transition to vertical. We'll say transition 0 0.3 seconds ease. Now let's see. You see that? But to get a little extra flair to it, what we'll do is we'll, we'll uh, rotate the entire button but not the button just the line wrapper because if we rotate the button the shadow will turn too which is wrong so we want to make only the line wrapper rotate because the line wrapper basically contains the button so let's do that so we can come back here and set the line wrapper Transition, 0 0.3 seconds, ease. And we'll say, we'll add an open class to line wrapper. We'll say open, when we add this class, we're gonna rotate the entire line wrapper. So we'll just copy this, put it inside here, and then back in our JavaScript, we're gonna do the same thing again. Let me just bring this in here. I'm gonna copy that, paste it down. I'm gonna copy this, P 
paste it down here and here we're gonna say line wrapper great so when we click on the button number one the vertical line is gonna turn uh, horizontal and the line wrapper itself is gonna in, is gonna completely rotate so you get this effect that's great now let's add that collapsing div again it's very simple we just say we create a div called content inside the div we'll say we'll add a content wrapper and inside the content wrapper I'll get to why we're doing this in a bit we'll just we'll add a we'll add some heading and we'll add a paragraph great now we'll just set some Now we'll just add some CSS to the content. First we'll say a margin top of 20 pixels. Then we'll then this will have a height of zero because when it's first uh, you should not be able to see anything. So we'll say height zero. Actually, let's do this so that you can see what's happening and we'll do background color light blue great and now we'll add a padding of 10 pixels great so everything looks nice and now we'll say dot content dot open so this should actually be here so just like we did for the other things when we when we click on the button we want to add a class called open to content which then sets the height to 500 pixels so here at first it's gonna have to be zero and then back in here we're gonna copy this, paste it, and set this to content. But you see there's a problem. That's because this content has a padding of 10 pixels. So we're gonna have to take that padding and put it inside contra, uh, content wrapper. So we'll just cut this And you can see right now that content is set to zero height, but everything inside the content wrapper is still displayed. So we have to add an overflow property to content and set it to hidden. This means anything that's uh, anything that's nested inside the content wrapper I mean anything that's nested inside the content element should not be seen outside its boundaries meaning if the height is zero you shouldn't be be able to see any of its nested elements so that's what it means now when we click this it works but you can see it appears very suddenly so once again we'll just add a transition Zero point three seconds, ease, and we'll do that, and you get this. Hey, if you found this video useful, like it and subscribe if you want to see more like this. I'll be putting out more content in the coming weeks, and I'll leave the link 
to the pro to to the code pen project in the description so make sure to check that out and i'll see you guys in the next video until then take care